Are those... crystals? Oh, let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, well, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant in Inazuman attire is a machine modeled on the human form. Was it built for fighting? Like ruin guards? I'm afraid so. It possesses significant combat capabilities, and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuman origin. But, as far as I know, Inazuma is still under the Sakaku Decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. People? I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty, with only a few scattered remnants of the past. As for the crystals... Hmm... They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? That sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Yes, I had a look at it myself. Uh, how can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of gratitude. Hmm. I see. And what about the rest of you? Who do you think would want to commemorate a machine in this way? Perhaps someone who was truly grateful. Only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. If the machine coexisted with that first group of humans, then the memorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Coexisted? You mean before it became damaged? Hmm, I wonder what exactly happened to it. Hmm, there is a hilly chill presence here. Perhaps this machine's indiscriminate attack is actually supposed to be targeted at hilly churls to protect the inhabitants. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought. In any case, this is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we'll need more evidence. Yes, though we don't have any clues to go on, we should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. Look! Another letter! It must be Dodo King! A letter? Quick, read it! Mysterious Dodo King, mysterious Dodo King, he sleeps alone on the southwesterly isle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish, the secret lies here. Do you dare to proceed? More cryptic riddles? What could it mean? And does it have anything to do with those crystals? And also, Southwesterly Isle? Now which island would that be? I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There is too? The island over there is really weird. It has a big, huge round thingy on it. Klee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. As long as you didn't activate any mechanisms. <sighs> Even if it seems completely empty here, it's easy to run into danger when you're by yourself. Klee, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first, okay? We'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? Of course. Yay! Okay! 
<sighs> Where does she get the energy? If Paimon didn't know better, Paimon would think that Jean was Clay's mother. You know, I had the exact same thought just now. Kaya. <laughs> My apologies, Acting Grandmaster. Honorary Knight, let's go and take a look. Huh? Is this a shield? Hmm. It doesn't look very solid, though. Seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you. Don't touch it. It might send us flying for all we know. Hmm. Big shield, big shield! <laughs> Klee knows you're in there! Hey, Dodo King, it's me, Klee! Come out and face me! No answer? Huh. Maybe he's not here. No, he's gotta be here! The bigger the shield, the badder Dodo King must be! Sounds like Klee logic to Paimon! Oh, I think Klee's right. It's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. A reasonable inference. I agree. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected devices to the source, we should be able to destroy it. Let's all look for any potential devices in the vicinity. Ready? Steady? Da -da -da! Klee, walk! Don't run! Come on! You don't want to finish last place, do ya? Let's go! Quick! Look! Look! Hmm. This does look like it could have something to do with the shield. Three devices in total. And look, the light converges in one place. Albedo, are we able to deactivate the shield from here? Hmm... These light-emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them. Looking at the shape here, it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place. What shape is that? Um, I don't get it. Someone explain. An oblong circle. Fan-shaped, I suppose. Hmm, what could it be? We're by the ocean. This shape is a seashell, perhaps? But all the shells we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. If it's not a shell, then it's got to be... Huh, a fish scale. A fish scale? But why would we want to put a fish scale there? Are there any other clues around? Whatever it is, we'd be placing it into the frames in front of the light-emitting device. Which means... Right! I've never seen anything like this. Oh, so that's what they're for! If I'm not mistaken, this is a very particular type of installation. Light is integral to its function. I've seen similar designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements or emit on a specific path. The mechanism is only activated if the light conditions are met. It would appear that these three installations are the keys to activating the energy shield. Would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red, blue, and yellow. Yes, just like letter. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. Huh, that's right. Honorary Knight, didn't that big machine we just defeated drop something? Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to this whole riddle. Give precious things to the greedy spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct... Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan! In that case, Paimon's got something to say. 
On the way over, Paimon saw a huge conch shell with lots of fish swimming around it. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to do it. Plus, the water is pretty shallow over there. It'll be easy to get the crystals back if the plan doesn't work. It will work. Don't jinx it. Okay, okay. It'll work. Everyone follow Paimon! do it, right? But where are the fish? Klee, was there anything else on that letter? Oh, uh, um, what was it? Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. So, maybe this type of fish only comes out after dark? Or to put it another way, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Catch fish. Eat. Yeah, yeah! Let's go fish blasting! Hey! Hold on, Klee. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Klee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean, and then we can go together, right? Uh, yes I did say that. <sighs> All right then, time to go fish blasting with Klee. Uh, is Paimon hearing things? Jean and Klee are gonna go fish blasting? It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. It's just a bit of relaxation, right? Find some fish! Find some fish! Let's go! There! Mini fish! Please gonna get there first! Wait! Wait! Whoop! There they go! Well, if Razor is going, then I suppose it's fine. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. I was just thinking about taking a stroll. Meaning, you're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Captain Kaya's on the case. <sighs> Master D. Luke, aren't you interested in pirate treasure? Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. Paimon doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. For a bunch of grown-ups, they really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Albedo! Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. Jeez, what's up with everyone? Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's not often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. <sighs> I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. Traveler, Make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. No, I... I was just... <sighs> what I mean is, I hope you enjoy yourself here. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone, especially Klee. This is my duty as the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. That's Jean for you. Always reliable. Traveler, thank you. It is nice of you to say so. Anyway, I hope we can all find moments of peace and happiness on this beach. <laughs> 